Hi guys, in this video I want to show you what kind of skills and abilities an attacking midfielder needs in a 4-2-1-3 system and how you can best use him to score more goals and become a better pass player. But before I start, I would like to introduce myself briefly. My name is Matt Nassin and I've been playing PES since 1998. I have won many tournaments, participated in national championships and am currently 13th on the PS4 and PS5 rankings. I would like to start the series with a frequently used lineup, the 4-2-1-3 system which is designed for counter-attacks. It will specifically revolve around the AMF as it can be a huge huge game changer in this lineup, provided you use the right player. My preferred level is level 5 and at this level I mostly play with Hulid as AMF with the instruction counter target on him. In my opinion he is one of the most predestined players for this position. He is very robust but still very fast. He has got good to very good attributes in all areas and all important passing skills. I'll go into more detail later in this video. To begin with, we start with the first typical scene, in which the ball is captured in one's own half and the game is then immediately switched to the offense. Since Hulet has the instruction counter target and the opponent was attacking with several players in our half, Hulet gets a lot of time and space. And this is really deadly for the opponent. Or at least it should be deadly for the opponent. Now we have the option to continue running with the ball or to give the ball to our center forward. This decision depends on the behavior of the opposing defensive player, as we are forcing him to choose one of these two options. In this situation you can immediately see from the direction he is looking that his Vieira is turning with his body towards the Gullet. That means that he wants to attack the player in possession of the ball and at this very moment our center forward is free and can be played, which Gullet then does. Now I would like to use examples to show you why player skills are so important and in which situation they are used. Here the ball is captured and passed on to Rullit. He has to turn around and play a through ball in no time. In this scene, the player skill through passing is activated. Konami defines it as follows. Increases the accuracy of a player's through balls. Furthermore, the player skill weighted pass is activated. Here the definition is, enables players to apply backspin when playing lofted passes and through balls improving accuracy. And that is exactly what can be seen in this scene. The ball has a backward spin so that the ball doesn't fly too far forward and our center forward gets his ball perfectly served. And now there's one important addition to the two player skills, namely the one touch pass. It improves the technique and precision when playing one touch passes. With the player skill low lofted pass, Hulet has all the important pass skills and makes him an absolute weapon as an AMF for me. Of course there are other players with similar skills, but Hulet was the best way to illustrate the benefits of a passable AMF in a 4-2-1-3 system. Finally, I'll show you how an enemy attack can quickly become an opportunity for yourself. A midfield with strong pass accuracy is of course indispensable for this. If you're interested, I will upload more of these kind of attack patterns with which I regularly score goals, starting with the flat kick by the keeper up to various free kick variants.
hope you enjoyed my first video. And if so, I will publish another part of this Become a Better Pass Player series. If you have any questions, you can contact me at any time from everywhere. Instagram, YouTube or even from PlayStation, the PSN. You can find my nick there, Matt Nassar, from the rankings also. And yeah, I will always take my time to respond. I will also stream regularly on Twitch and yeah, I would like to see you there too. So stay safe folks and hopefully see you next time.